How's it going everyone? Today we're gonna to be testing out the Better Boat Boat Erasers. I've tested out many other products from the company, the Better Boat, and I'll have some of them here. I've tested out their bilge cleaner, their deck cleaner, their boat soap, and I've been really, in some poles too, I've been really impressed with all their products so far, so don't forget to check those out after this video. So what these are is they're similar to Magic Erasers, but they're specifically built for boats. When you open the box and the package you get, you're gonna have three boat erasers and this is what they look like they have a middle softer section and then two white cleaning sections they're pretty firm which i think was a good thing because i think they'll hold up longer and they have a really good size so you can have a nice grip and you can really get on the boat and clean something off so these are designed to clean vinyl fiberglass plastic wood and glass and that's every pretty much every surface that's on a boat so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test those out today. And we're going to compare them to these guys, the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. So when you open these up, these are definitely a lot smaller, but more importantly, they are a lot softer. So I don't think they're going to hold up nearly as long. You can see these scuffs right here. We have some trees along the side of the boat when we're pulling it out. We cut the branches now, but this scuffed it when it was we were pulling it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet the erasers and I'm going to give that a wipe and see what happens. Just to show you first, I'm just gonna spray this with some water and wipe it down with a towel to show you that this won't come off. So yeah, that's pretty well in there. If I didn't use one of these erasers, the next thing I would probably do is um polish it and if that didn't work i'd wet sand it so it's gonna be interesting to see how the erasers perform i wet the eraser really good with the hose and all it really soaks up the water and all it says to do is just squeeze it out so you can see some water is coming out there and this still holds its shape really well like i'm squeezing on that pretty hard and it really does not feel like it's given too much which i think is good so now we're going to go ahead and test it out on this scuff right here and see what happens so first i'm going to start on this side right here You can tell it's kind of greenish because I think we hit like bark and stuff. And it's definitely coming off. I just had to readjust my camera a little bit, but I'm gonna to continue to uh, work on this mark here. I mean, you can tell over here, there was a mark and it's all gone now. There's even a little spot down over here. That's all gone. I think one of the key things too to note if somebody wanted to use this product is it's gonna work on scuffs, not scratches, because scratches are embedded into your uh, gel coat. It's like actually physically removed paint, so this isn't gonna do that. You really need to cut with sandpaper, but scuffs, this is like paint transfer. That's where this kind of stuff is perfect. So I would say right here, it took a little bit of time, but I would say that's pretty darn perfect. I can't see it anymore. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and test out the magic erasers and see how those compare. Now I have the Mr. Clean magic eraser. I put some water on it and I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it out. So what I want you to note now is when I go to squeeze this, I'm squeezing it just as hard as I was the other one. And you can already see it's deforming its shape a little bit and it's not nearly as stiff. So to me, this means it's not gonna last as long and I'm not gonna be able to get much force pressing on it when I'm trying to remove a scuff, but we'll go ahead and test it out. So I left the other half of the scuff mark here. I'm gonna go ahead and test out with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So you can see, as I'm using this, it is removing the scuff, but 
Notice how deformed this magic eraser is getting. And mind you, I used this better boat boat eraser to remove the other half of the scuff and it still looks perfect. So this is gonna hold up much longer time compared to the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser because this was just sitting there and it still looks pretty deformed. But we'll go ahead and remove the rest of the scuff with this and then touch it up with the better boat, boat eraser. And I'm putting the exact same pressure with both erasers. Okay, so I'd say that looks pretty good. This one definitely cleans, but here's the problem. This one's almost shot at this point. I mean, it's might be good for indoor home use, but when you really need to get a scuff off your boat and you want to use this a lot, you don't want to be buying these all the time and just have them be disposable. You want to have something you can use over and over again. You want to have a quality product. So this, I would say, doesn't pass that test. But the better boat here looks absolutely perfect after getting half that scuff out. So the last part I'm gonna test here is kind of a weird angle, but these are our cup holders by our console here. And then when I put my um, coffee mug in there, it tends to mar the gel coat on the interior. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out with the better boat boat eraser. I'm just gonna put it under here and wipe that off. And just like that, it's good, it's new. And the eraser still has perfect shape. One other thing I forgot to mention is when these do get dirty, while they're wet, you can actually clean them out really easily. So all you're gonna do is take a hose and just spray it lightly in there. You can see, cleans out real nice, nice and white again, ready for use. Just finished up my test of the Better Boat boat erasers. And I would give these guys a definite buy. I mean. This is the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser after one use, and this is the Better Boat Boat Eraser after two uses. I mean, look at the shape difference. Which one would you rather use? Like, you just get a lot more power and grip when you're going with this one, and then this one, when you start to use it, just kind of crumples. So, like, here's, like, equal pressure squeezing them, right? Like, this one just crumples when you try to use it. So, th this, in my opinion, is a much higher quality product. One thing I did notice is this takes maybe just a hair longer to get some of those scuffs out, but that's totally okay with me. Because sometimes these guys, if you try to use them, they're too aggressive. It can actually dull out the gel coat. It's almost like a really fine wet sand, but this is a little bit less aggressive, so it's not gonna dull out anything. It'll just work as it should. So I would definitely recommend buying these if you have any scuffs on your boat, stains on your vinyl. I just showed it on fiberglass, but I have no doubt it didn't work well on vinyl, wood, metal, anything like that definitely wouldn't have any hesitation buying these. And if you guys do want to buy these, don't forget to click the links in my description. I'll have links to all the Better Boat products that I use. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Don't forget to browse my channel and subscribe and take care and have a great day.